Okay, guys, welcome back to Newbie Marketing University. Uh, we're going to continue our basic training series on how to use a Weber. So, in the first two uh, videos, we talked about, um, you know, just how to find a Weber on the internet. We talked a little bit about creating uh, your account, and now after you've created your account, what we want to do is create our uh, first follow-up message. So. What is a follow-up message? So as we talked about in other training videos, you know, when you capture email addresses and, and they go into your AWeber account, what, what you want to do is set up uh, pre-written follow-up messages. And you can determine um, you know, whether you want to send them once a day, twice a day, once every three days, you know, pretty much whatever you want. But you want to have a series of follow-up messages that you've already uh, put together that are going to go to people basically sales messages the whole point of these follow-up messages is one to start developing a relationship with the people that have signed up uh, to get your information and two then with that relationship to to get sales and so what you want to do is strategically set up a whole series of messages so you know you can you set it up ahead of time and then you forget about it every day that person who signs up is going to get one message after another uh, that you have written. So now, <clears throat> depending on what business you're in, most businesses will have, if you go to, to the person who enrolled you, they might have a, a series of, of emails that, that they've already written that you can just copy. And we'll talk about how to do that in another video. But in this video, I just kind of want to show you how to write your own messages and kind of what you know the a little bit about the system so what you're going to do is just go up to messages here and then you'll just say follow-up series and click that and then it'll come to this screen where it says you know create your first follow-up so we're going to click that button and uh, and it'll take us to the page um, you know where you know where we're going to start writing and I'll kind of tell you you know, show you a little bit of the features uh, involved in you know writing your first uh, message if my computer would uh, would ever load here so again the purpose is you want to have these things set up like your first message might be a, a welcome message telling you want to make it a little you know personal you want to tell people a little bit about you know who you are and what you're about and what emails are going to be coming down the road and that sort of thing and there's a whole strategy behind email marketing that you know will will come at a later date but this is the main screen you're going to come to uh, obviously this is the subject line so in an email this is what somebody's gonna see and again there's all kind of strategies on what you should put you know in your email but for um, just demonstration purposes I'm just gonna write um, uh, welcome to my team and you know you can write obviously you know you can write whatever you want to here and and then with a Weber you know that you know what I would tell you is play around with a little bit there's all kind of different features uh, with the AWeber and I'm not going to go into all of them uh, in this training session I'm just you know that'll come at a later date but I just kind of want to show you you know a basic so let's get rid of this box so you know you can put a basically what you're going to do is just scroll over each of these headings and then you drop that box into the open screen so for example with headline if I want to put a headline in there I'll drop it down and this is kind of what it looks like and and then you uh, can just pretty much write whatever you want and I'm just gonna put welcome to my team so I'll set that up if you want to do a paragraph you kind of just drop it below um, this is just junk we need to get rid of and then I'm just gonna write something simple um, let's see what should I write um, thank you very much for lining up to get my information and again guys I'm just making this up on the fly you know you can write a whole paragraph or whatever you want here um, if you want then if you want to go if you want to separate it by paragraphs again you can do another paragraph give you some spacing let me get rid of this click twice highlight it get rid of it uh, please sign up to get my free information okay so again I'm just making stuff up um, let's say I want to do an image so I hover over image and I'm gonna put an image box in there and then what you want to do 
um, when you first start out you're not going to have any images so all you have to do is click this button here to upload a file so if you have pictures on your computer you can upload a, a picture into a Weber and then it'll just store it for you forever so for example I've got quite a few pictures on this account so I'm just gonna hit browse image gallery um, and then I'm just gonna I'll just click this this box right here pick one and boom you know the image appears so you can make it smaller bigger you know kinda of whatever you want and then now the nice thing about it another feature that's really nice about a Weber is you can make that clickable so if I wanna make that clickable the box is over here I can just put go to image link and I'm gonna type in an address and then it'll it'll verify it with the with the green uh, check mark so now one of the tricks I can tell you there's a lot again this is just basic stuff guys we'll go into more detail here in, a, in, in another video but one of the tricks when you type in a, an image link for whatever reason when you finish sometimes you just have to take your uh, your arrow bar and scroll to the front of the URL address for it to kinda click in and catch on and then verify it but that's how you do that um, let's see what else can we show you here real quick um, da -da -da, let's see I'll tell you what and then if I want to make a signature you know sometimes you can you know you can put a picture of yourself let me do that real quick go to my browse image gallery somewhere I've got a really bad picture of me in here here it is uh, if my mouse would work and boom there's a picture of me and then you can see from this previous screen when you um, set up your email address it'll tell you it'll automatically put your name and email address in there so when you send this email to people if they want to respond to you your email address is right there and you don't you don't have to worry about it let's say I want to put a you know a PS thing in there so uh, I'm just gonna go to paragraph again put it under my name uh, get rid of this junk and then I can just put hey uh, you know PS uh, don't forget to uh, get my stuff go to get my stuff so let's say uh, and you, again you can just put whatever you want to here but let's say I want to make that clickable as a text get my stuff I'm just gonna highlight it uh, if I can highlight it here and then I'm gonna go up right here to the link bar it's gonna pop up here I'm gonna get rid of that and then um, I'm gonna put this email address in here oops I must have typed something in wrong here HTTP and then you can see it validates it just go over and click anywhere and now on the email that I have the get my stuff is is clickable so when people click that it's gonna take me to uh, a capture page or a sales page or whatever I'm gonna put in there so once you finish you're just gonna hit uh, save and then go to next and then you, you can just keep this checked where it'll keep track of the the link or the clicks for you <laughs> Um, and it's saving here and working so you know what I would do is really play around with it when you first start and just check out all the different uh, you know features that you have so now we got an email saved here in our follow-up series welcome to my team and then what you can do is what I always recommend that you do is you send yourself a test just click this uh, button here and email yourself the message and that way you can check that the links that you put in the hyperlinks that you put in uh, work make sure that um, you know that it, the email is you know looks the way you want it to and and so forth and then after you check it then you know you can just you know leave it alone and then when when you have uh, when to put together another email uh, it'll go to number two and and so forth so that's kind of a basic way of um, of putting in uh, a, a follow-up message okay so now I talked about briefly 
how um, you can go to your mentor or the person who enrolled you and say, hey, do you have any scripted email messages that are already pre-written? So a lot of times they do, and that's where this box comes in right here. So they will give you a predefined campaign code, and you can enter that right here and then hit load campaign, and let's say they have 20 messages that, that have already been pre-written. Then what you do is get that code from him or from your, your enroller and plug it in here, hit load campaign, and then in this spot here you'll see 20 other messages show up. And, and that is a really great way to get started if you don't want to spend time writing your own messages. Now, I will tell you that uh, we'll talk about this in another uh, 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 video uh, in this training series. But when you get that campaign code, you're going to want to make changes because what's going to happen is when you put that code in there and hit load campaign and all these other messages show up, then the any hyperlinks that were from the other person are still going to be in there. So you've got to go in there and do some maintenance work to make sure when somebody clicks a link that it's going to go to your screen and not somebody else's. But we'll talk about that uh, in, a, you know, in another video in this series. But that's kind of it for this one. Uh, it kind of gives you a, you know, a real quick um, uh, you know, example of how to do a follow-up message and what follow-up messages are. And uh, we'll keep marching on on the next one. Now, again, um, somewhere up in here, there's a subscribe button. So if you're just watching this for the first time and you're not already subscribed to Newbie Marketing University, uh, please click that button, subscribe, because I, you know, I'm loading training videos every single day. And it's from, you know, the beginners, uh, freshman class stuff all the way through to senior class stuff that's more advanced. So thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one.